Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about and give an update on the Hawaii. Just kidding. I got y'all. Last time I, was, I kept saying Hawaii, but now it is Huawei. <laughs> Huawei, okay? I told you guys I was going to better pronounce the name, okay? So get off of my back. Get off of my back. So in this video, I'm going to go over the Huawei versus the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm going to talk about, just give an overview and the specs of it, which one is better. Some people saying Huawei, some people saying iPhone. So let's break it down in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So Huawei <laughs> announced this, its latest phone, the Pura 70 range, and there are plenty of updates and improvements. Now, uh, one of the improvements is the really liked retractable or loved retractable zoom lens, but the company also introduced a key communications feature, which is the Satellite Plus, which allow images to be sent by satellite when there's no cellular connectivity. Take that, iPhone. <laughs> This is a first for a regular phone and follows, you know, on uh, from the last fall's announcement of the Huawei Mate 60 Pro, which was also a world first. In that case, the first to enable satellite phone calls. The capability is also on the new Huawei Pura 70 Ultra. The new model's image sending feature is also pitched as something for use in emergency. When you're in a place with no cellular act, uh, no cellular connectivity, uh, to send images via satellite with its limited bandwidth, the files are heavily compressed, which can lead to distortion or blurring of the picture. Hence, the emphasis that this feature is for emergency usage only. To use it fully, the sending and receiving phones require a particular app called Chang Liang. So if the phone to which you're sending the message doesn't have it, then as Huawei's Bruce Lee explains, the recipient will see only a regular text message. Even so, this is a very big step forward and highly valuable if, for example, it can show your location in a way that makes it easier for emergency services to pinpoint you. Other details so far revealed as spotted by Huawei Central include the fact that you can edit a message after it's been sent. Take that iPhone, take that. Take that iPhone. <laughs> it also explains Huawei Pura 70 Ultra also supports wireless communication with the help of an advanced fusion, which is the Ling Z antenna, the Ling Z network and the Ling Z AI algorithm for a better, stable, and strong communication experience under weak signal conditions. Apple's satellite connection was groundbreaking, introducing clever software to help users to point the iPhone directly at a satellite, satellite sorry, passing by unseen overhead. So who, who do you guys think is first in this idea? Huawei or iPhone? Please let me know in the comment section below. Who do you think is more innovative as of late as well? So, and there have been numerous stories of lives being saved using this feature. So, to see something even more advanced coming to Huawei's handsets uh, will surely have Apple and rivals thinking of what more they can do. By the way, if you've noticed a different branding on the latest phones, well done. <laughs> Come on, Peter. Put, put somebody bound down. <laughs> The Pura 7 is the direct sequel to last year's P60. This fall, we may see if Huawei brands its M series phones with a new name. There's no word yet on what this might be. The satellite connectivity is a major step forward in the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra, but it's far from the only one. In fact, the headline grabbing update touched on uh, at the top of this, you know, you know at the beginning like what i just spoke about is the camera with its zoom lens mechanism even without the satellite feature this would be enough to make the new phone an original for several reasons first the main camera has a one inch sensor a size that would not look <clears throat> out of place in a dedicated digital slr camera that camera has a variable aperture something which Huawei has done before, but is another sign of photographic versatility. And the retractable mechanism is what makes such a huge sensor viable. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. 
please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So the nature of the physics and optics is there has you know, has to be a certain distance between a sensor and a lens, too short and the lens can't allow light to cover the sensor properly. With such a big sensor, a greater length is needed and the, me uh, the uh, mechanical movement allows the, the sensor and lens to be suitably distanced. The alternative would be a much bulkier phone. Each time you snap a photo on this 50 megapixel main sensor, uh, the lens will move out. And Hawaii says the mechanism has been tested for 300,000 retractions. One benefit for such a big sensor is the ability to shoot crisp shots, even when the subject is moving at high speed. It's a pretty cool innovation. So again, since the Hawaii Pura 70 has gone for sale, a lot of people like it, but also a lot of people don't like it. There has been also some intense scrutiny in the retractable camera. Uh, like how just how strong it is and how much uh, you know you know the, also not only the retractable uh, but how much weight it can withstand so there was a public test that was done by Webo tipster and get off my back if I mispronounce that guys it was done by balancing a smartphone on top of the extended lens and adding weights the phone a Huawei Mate X2 weighing 295 G plus uh, 75g of ways didn't cause the mechan the uh, mechan mechanism to retract though an additional 10 grams was t too much for it so in this test in far from laboratory conditions the mechanism was found to withstand pressure of 365 grams which is impressive uh the camera has also a high speed photo capture you know but now let's get into the specs of it all right so here are some reasons why you're going, you, you know, some people might want to consider the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra as compared to the iPhone, right? It comes with an uh, 1926 mAh larger battery capacity, right? It has 5,200 versus 30, uh, 3274. It has a 0.7 inch larger screen, right? It has twice more RAM, 16 gigs versus 8 gigs. It supports higher wattage charging, 100W versus 23W. The rear camera has a 3.5X optical zoom, fingerprint scanner, slow motion recording at 960 FPS, CPU with a higher amount of cores, plus 6, has a built-in infrared port, right? Now, let's talk about why people are like, okay, okay, Mark, okay, you said about a Pure 70, now hit me up with the iPhone. Okay, I got you, I got you, bro, I got you, just chill. So here's one of the reasons why you're going to want to consider an Apple iPhone Pro or the iPhone side of things. It has a 57% better performance in uh, Antutu benchmark of 1525K versus 972K. It has newer Bluetooth version at 5.3. It has more energy efficient CPU, which is the Apple A17 Pro. It has a 2.1x faster uh, in single core Geekbench 6 test, 2920 uh, and 1421 points. It supports Dolby Atmos sound technology, so that thing, that thing better in that quality of the sound, reportedly. It weighs less, 39 grams less than the uh, Huawei and it's ready for eSIM technology. In regards to connectivity, uh, they're kind of similar, right? Uh, they are both compatibility with, they, they're compatible with 3G, 4G, 5G, uh, and they both uh, have Wi-Fi capabilities as far as Wi-Fi hotspot. However, I will say that it appears, it appears, okay, and don't, don't, don't come at me now, you know, because a lot there's a lot of like loyal H Huawei uh, users. They're saying it's better than iPhone. You know what I'm saying? They they out here fighting with it. Uh, but it appears, guys, that one advantage, one you know, that the iPhone has over the Huawei is it has Wi-Fi 6E, right? It has Wi-Fi 6E, and the Huawei Pura 7 70 does not have that. So that is one leg up. I don't know. I mean. You know, that, that, that I'm just I'm just saying, OK, so uh, that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Uh, is there anything that you feel that I missed as far as the iPhone and versus the uh, Huawei? Please let me know in the comment section below. Stay safe. See you in the next video.